cold drinks, that's the motherfucking recipe. Cześć, witajcie, jestem Sen Max, to nasz drugi odcinek z gry The Book of Unwritten Tales. Jak pamiętacie, skończyliśmy ostatnio tutaj. Musimy jakoś zwabić tego szczura. The raft is chewed through the wood. There's some fur hanging from a splinter. Ooh, I'll take that. Oh. Oh. And now the fur. A source of rat DNA. Okay. Gone. It won't be back anytime soon either. Problem solved. Oh, the X100 makes a pretty good rat hunter. I just hope it never mistakes me for a rat. Ciebie możesz czymś innym. Ty, kurde debel. Panie pomóż mi. To be honest, I'm not going to put my hand in there. Maybe rot or even more rats. To be honest, I'm not going to put my hand in there without a very good reason. Who knows what the rat has hidden there? Maybe rotten food, or already digested food, or even more rats. It did its job and promptly switched itself off again. Our rat hunter here is quite the energy hog. Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Aye, aye, Wilbur. Aye, aye. Sure the rat's gone. I saw. It's amazing what you little gnomes can puzzle out, eh? The rat's lost his appetite for my hops at any rate. He won't be coming back for a while. <laughs> can I call it a day now? Of course you can. Safe home, my lad. See you tomorrow. Bye. See ya. See you later, lad. Totoro. Idziemy z domu, uciekam. A panie piwo waza. And another day ends. And as usual, I didn't save any princesses or fight any dragons or hunt any orcs. I chased a rat off, and I didn't even do it myself. I used a fully automated robot instead. It's going to take more than that before my statue stands next to Knight Tilo in the Hall of Heroes, but I'm going to make it one day. Mama Zenia. Ooh, the bell. No. The fuck? Damn, what is this? What is this? No, it's a real bird. Poznaj naszego magafina. Hey, you, boy, you've got to get me out of here, quickly, please. Ale jak? I was abducted. An elf freed me. They want. You've got to believe me. I have the key to something that could determine the fate of the war. Listen, boy. It's too late. You see this ring? It's the key. Take it to the human arch mage in the town of Seastone. You understand? What? All of our fates depend on it. No. Co to jest? Kurde bel. O, tiu, tiu, nobody's gonna believe this. There's no way I'll make it down to the human town by the sea on my own. I need help. I should ask the master brewer for help. Or granddad. He fought for the alliance. No to. Spojrzę sobie na Bastian. Ciekawe co pak. The Bastian looks so impressive. 
However, many of the halls and corridors were never completed. Originally, hundreds of dwarves were supposed to live here to defend the mountain kingdom's northern front. Now the master brewer and my family are the only ones left. A rogue got tarpaulin, probably just like the ones hanging all over the place. Rostovanie. Brezent. The tarps are supposed to offer the stonemasons a little protection. They have to be pretty tough if they're out there in all kinds of weather. I'm not climbing mm. up there, it's all iced up. I'd probably end up breaking my neck. Maybe. Probably the statue of some famous dwarven leader. I don't know much about their history. It's Apparently the statue is not quite finished. Still, it looks much better than the others do. Hmm. Of course, it's pretty cold all year round up here in the mountains. But this year, winter came particularly early. It worked. I got one. It'll take a long time for the icicle to melt. After all, the pot isn't all that warm. I should speed up the melting process. Master Brewer, sir! Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Where are you? I I sleep, you motherfucker. Master Brewer, sir. Master Brewer. Mm? The fuck? What? What? Sure, what? We have to tell the other dwarves. There was this gremlin in a cage, and he gave me this ring. And what kind of ring, then? This this ring. It's a very important ring. The gremlin said all our fates... Uh, Wilbur, I Come really on. don't have time for this kid stuff. I've got more important things to do. But the ring has to be delivered to the Archmage down in the human town. The gremlin said it could end the war. Listen, laddie. That's a ring. What's it supposed to be able to do? It's... I have to. The, the gremlin wasn't lying. Just think about it. When has anybody ever given an important ring to a little being like a gnome? That sort of thing just doesn't happen. But... That's enough. Now, go home. It's getting late. So go for it, sir. <sighs> I guess I can't expect any help from the Master Brewer. Beards are important to dwarves. The longer the beard, the more respect the dwarf gets. And the beard ornaments tell you a lot about their owner. The master brewer, for example, is a second degree keg roller. He was born the ninth of 12 children and he's got a weak spot for beer. He's a bachelor, but isn't one for walks in the morning dew. And he was almost kicked out of school for pulling a girl's mustache. <laughs> Beards are important to dwarf. And the beard ornaments, he was born the bachelor and he was- just took off me. The stove is still a little warm. You couldn't cook anything on it, but you could eat something up. It shouldn't take long to melt the icicle. The stove is still warm. The icicle is gone. All that's left is crystal clear water. Czekajcie, malutki cięcie. Dobrze, już do was wracam. O, spróbujemy, czy możemy to wlać. Hmm. Będę przewijał to, jak on wychodzi z tych miejsc. The map shows the area between... A to już w poslednim odcinku uczyliśmy. Tylko, że ten ekran jest taki mniejszy zawsze. Gnomianorka. That's the entrance to my family's norm hall. We've been living here for generations. Nowoczesny. Nawet ma satelity. That's my family. Right now, just Grandad and I are holding down the fort. The others are all at a technology trade show down south. <laughs> my dad is a mechanic and a physicist. He primarily works on, uh, things. <laughs> Mother is just a whole wife and geneticist. The baby is my little sister Sydney, 
I think she'll be a researcher too. She once doubled her baby phone's data transfer rate using nothing but a rattle and a rubber ball. My other little sister is Maggie, my parents' pride and joy. She mainly concentrates on robotics, combat robots to be exact. Grandad is a war veteran and conducts secret military research, whenever Dad lets him in the workshop, that is. Looks like I'm the proverbial exception to the rule. Hmm. I'd rather go out into the world and become a mage, a hero like Knight Tilo. Hmm. But someone has to look after Grandad and the Master Brewer. I'm more of a local, unsung hero. Guys, the consists on your wheel, bro. Another one of Dad's inventions, he calls it eclecticity or something. It's got something to do with hamsters. <laughs> we used to have jelly glowfish all over the walls. I found that a little cozier. One of my dad's inventions. He calls it a time measurometer. It splits the day into two periods of 12 hours each and shows which hour we are currently in. Sometimes I think that thing uses time up instead of just showing it. <laughs> a chair. This chair is completely uninteresting. Hey, my mechanical flying fish Nemo. How did Nemo. you get there? One of the few technical devices I ever built. Well, to be honest, actually my father and my sister really, but uh, I did watch. Nemo. Reba. It still works. A solid example of norm technology, if I do say so myself. Hmm. A flower pot full of potting soil. Hmm. Doesn't look like mother planted anything in there. Hmm. Doesn't look like mother. Those are my mum's plants. She grows a lot of that green stuff. She keeps trying to genetically change the plants so they can grow up here amidst the icy mountains. The plants have grown. I could have sworn they weren't here yesterday. Mum probably uses a really good fertilizer. Um. My mother is a real whole wife. She spends her time on chemistry, biology, genetics and that kind of stuff. I think I'll just leave that alone. We norms have a golden rule, hands off another norm's experiments. Look, look. Those are the controls for our living space optimization unit. My father invented them. Those cogs belong to Dad's living space optimization unit. The machine takes up a total of three rooms in our hall. That's the lever for my parents' bedroom. I can't use it until they get back. No. <laughs> That's the lever for my little sister's bedroom. I'm not touching that. She builds combat robots and she kind of hinted that she knows how to protect her privacy. Okay. This is my very cool room. Very cool. My old gnome scout rucksack. Pretty tough that, but somehow I always had the feeling it could have been a little larger. Hmm. I wonder if putting small bags and pouches in it would increase the rucksack's capacity. Totos? My old tennis racket, although I was never very good. Hmm. Cat cut is missing. What did I use that for? Our kitchen. Kitchen. Yeah, kitchen. Our flour mill. Mother makes sure we eat a healthy diet. One day we'll all be big and strong, comparatively. Hmm, <laughs> a pale blue glowing liquid. Something tells me it's probably not good for you. My mum wrote super fertilizer on it. Probably one of her genetic experiments. Mum hid the knives as a precaution after Grandad's knife throwing training classes last year. She doesn't trust us anymore. <laughs> Master Merlin's antibacterial kitchen cleaner. The dirt disappears like magic. If only I could cast spells like Merlin or any other household cleaner for that matter. 
Szczególnie nawiązaniem do filmu Merlin. Ja przynajmniej tak myślę. Hmm. There's still some grain in the funnel. Barley, I think. Weź jęczy. O kurde, ile rzeczy mam w krwi. Możemy? Proszę dziesięciu. I don't even know what to do with one handful of barley. Why do I need two then? Don't know. I don't even know what to do with... Może to zasadzić. Super nawóz. Why should I fertilize potting soil? Nie wiem. Może ci się nudzi. That won't work. How am I supposed to attach the tarpaulin to the backpack? A heavy gold ring. There is some fine script on the inside, but I can't make out what it says. Nie po I'll just knot the loose ends around the frame. Done. Wouldn't want to play tennis with it, but it does make a fine scoop net. Just próbujmy złapać tego dawna. Nemo. Mi ta ryba w kurze. Nie do trzech razy sztuka. Fuck you. Idźmy na dół. And down we go. Cool, bro. There. Hi, Grandad. It's me. I doubt it. What's the password? Nuclear first strike, sir. Hmm. Correct. What do you want? A gremlin gave me this ring. He said it's very important. He said the ring has to be delivered to the Ark Mage as quickly as possible. A ring? Have you checked it for contamination? Con... Con... Um... What? For curses! Hexes! Poison! I, uh... What am I talking about? Of course you have! No one would accept a ring from a gremlin and not check it for curses! Dangerous little blight does those gremlins. You shouldn't feed them after midnight, you know? The, uh... The, the gremlin said this ring could decide the course of the entire war. Decide the course of the war? That would be... Where is this gremlin? He's been kidnapped. He barely had time to give me this ring. It should be taken to the Archmage as quickly as possible. The Archmage? Hmm, yes, yes. He'd know what to do. This is what we've been waiting for. This is what we've trained for. Uh... This is the hour in which a stout youngster becomes an adult. The hour of glory. The hour of fame. Hour, hour. But, but, what do you mean stout? Does everyone know what they have to do? No. Right, men. Let it be so. Mm, Grandad has this thing about secrecy. I think he's afraid of shadow army spies or something. Something my granddad is working on. No idea what it is. And I'm pretty certain I don't want to know either. I like my granddad, but his inventions are usually pretty dangerous. Dangerous. A huge machine, I mean even for granddad. He's really taking advantage of mum and dad being away. Because the could just take more Dad's vice brings back a lot of memories. Painful, mostly. <laughs> Dad's vice brings back a lot of... A thin, silvery, elven rope. It's very light and almost unbreakable. <laughs> That's Dad's spare toolbox. Well, he took his everyday tools, his travel tools and his finest tools with him. Let's see. What do we hear? Wrench, pliers, auger grease, a minotaur foot, a curse meter, 
I'll just take the entire box. That's not a terrible one. Parts of some machine or something. If it's useless, it's Dad. If it's broken, it's Grandad. And if it's dangerous, it's from my sister Maggie. No. Ah, an old extension arm. Very handy if you're too small to reach an object. Kind of a widespread problem amongst us gnomes. <laughs> That's one of Grandad's great inventions. A ship which travels underwater. It can already sink. <laughs> Those are jelly glowfish lamps. As long as you feed them every couple of weeks, they're good for years of light. They used to hang all over the hall. Now these two are all we have left. <laughs> the locker won't open. It was badly damaged two years ago in the devastating spring cleaning explosion. Czekajcie, zrobię malutkie cięcie. Dobra, już wracam. Wracam, wracam. Dziadku, jeszcze coś mam na szczęście. Call me Colonel. Just what exactly are we to do now, Colonel Grandad? We've just discussed that. You get the equipment, I'll sort out the means of transport. Equipment for what? For what? For your journey to the town of the humans, of course. You need to pay more attention, my boy. I'm supposed to... I, I thought someone else. <laughs> Who? I very much doubt you'll find anyone else here who's prepared to look death in the eye. This is your chance to be a tragic hero, my boy. A painful loss for the Alliance. Don't you want to be a hero? Sure, I I'd like to do something exciting, but... I'm not sure I'm ready to try being a... Uh... Try? There is no try, only do. This is your chance. You'll be a hero, and I'll show everyone that this old gnome is still good for something. So, here's the plan. You get yourself some good gear, I'll sort out the means of transport. All right. I can have a look around, but no promises. About my equipment. Yes? Have you got everything? I don't know. What exactly should I take? Mm. Let me think. You need a helmet. You can fight without legs, but you can't fight without a head. Without legs? And you need a map of the area. Reconnaissance is everything. We are living in the information age. So I need a map and a helmet. Got it. And then, of course, you need a parachute. Better to be safe than sorry. Um, just why I mean a parachute? Just a precaution. Uh... <laughs> um, I'm supposed to travel to a human town in your machine, right? Absolutely, it's the quickest way. And the safest? Absolutely, it's the quickest way. Well, we can't expect any help from the Master Brewer. He doesn't believe the ring is important. I didn't expect much more from that cowardly drunkard. <laughs> Grandad, he's my boss. Some boss sits in his fortress drinking beer from dawn till dusk while his comrades are Junker. fighting on the front line. I think he misses them. Well, perhaps. But one thing's for sure. We are on our own, soldier. I'll okay. go look for the rest. You do that. But remember, never look a Medusa in the eye, and never look at anyone on the underground. Right. Okay. That won't work. How am I supposed to... Well, that won't work. It wiggles too much. Let's see. I pull the rope through the eyes on the rucksack. Yes, that worked. I'll thread the rope through the eyes around the edge of the tarpaulin. Done. There we go. A parachute. At least mm -hmm. I know what the parachute's for. The map and the helmet make a little more sense. I should think about getting them next. Okay. Then sit him of course and of course I will push him. That's my family. 
right now just granddad and I my dad is a mother is just she wants my other little granddad looks like I'd run I'd rather not take Nemo apart until I know what I'm looking for. A perfect fit. Now we can make long-reaching attacks on bacteria. No, no, it's hard. You turn my thumb. Some more to eat. Now I'm going to do something I should have done a long time ago. It's too bad that slime had to be so evil. Now that's a helmet fit for a hero. It only stinks a little bit. So that's two of the three pieces of gear already. All I need now is the map. Mm. That's the brewer, sir. Um, Mr. Master Brewer, sir, could I maybe borrow that map over there? What, that? Oh, lad, that map shows the finest taverns in the land. And this one's on it, too. Wow. Oh, I'd be really, really careful with it. No, no, to be quite honest, there hasn't been a lot going on here since war broke out. And I've got no chance of being featured again. That's why the map is staying where it is. I talked to my granddad. He thinks the ring is important too. He wants to help me get to the human town. Yeah? Well, of course he wants to do that. Listen to me, laddie. Nothing against your grandpa. But don't you think he's uh, a few gills short of a pint? My granddad is a great soldier and inventor. Of course he is. Of course he is. But, uh, how should I put it? He's maybe had one crash landing too many. His flying machines were mostly a bit, uh, temperamental. And let's face it, he wasn't actually the greatest of pilots. Honestly, son. If your grandpa reckons there's something in that story, then for me, that's just one more reason to keep out of it. Grandad and I will show everyone. I don't want to trouble you any further. Good night. And yourself. Have a good one. No, I can't. I... Well, maybe I can. <laughs> I'm going to burn in hell for this, guaranteed. First, the robot needs more energy. Let's see how it likes this. Aha! It works! I wonder if that would work. At least it would distract the master brewer a bit. Oh. Ah! Hello! Stop! That wasn't supposed to happen. I have a feeling that would be such a brilliant idea. Oh, I like the master brewer. That was amazing! The eternal struggle of dwarf against machine, and I won. Ah, <laughs> uh, are you okay? Of course. Why not? You think a stupid tin bucket's going to beat a proper dwarf? No chance. Ugh, that was good. Something's happening at last. Cause for celebration. I think we should drink to that. Sorry. Mm -mm. I think he's drunk with victory, so he shouldn't see anything. I have it. The map of the area. And that's the last of my gear. 
I must get back to Grandad. Fast. And down we go. Um, excuse me, Colonel Grandad. Mm -hmm. Yes, report back. I have the pot, um, um, helmet. Excellent soldier. The helmet will protect you from physical attacks. You can even sit on it and use it as a saucepan. Ooh, how practical. Let me see your helmet. It's not all that great, I know, but... What? It's a good helmet, and it's going to protect a good soldier. That is, of course, as long as the enemy doesn't attack with dragons. War has wizards in its ranks. Or magical swords. And doesn't go for your head. Maybe I should look for some armor with magic. Poppycock! That helmet will do. I got a map. Excellent. My commanding officer always said good maps are half the battle. Of course, you won't be needing it if everything goes well. If what goes well? But if not, it's always good to have a map with you. What? I have a parachute. Fantastic. Parachutes are hard to come by and are difficult to make yourself. Yes, sir. After all, you'd only want to entrust your life in a quality product, not something makeshift you've patched together yourself. Trust my life, but of course, I, I mean, I mean, of course not. Mm. So, that's the last of my gear. Got on. Excellent. We could get going if only my damn machine would work. But you can't find a thing in this house. No nitroglycerin, no dragon hide armor, no concentrated pillars of salt, no full mithril jacket bullets, nothing. What? What do you need all that for? For what? It's a war! But we just want to deliver the ring to the Archmage. Don't you think a sled... What? I need a nitroglycerin substitute. Something highly explosive. The only thing that comes to mind is good old dwarven ale. Dwarven ale? Devilish stuff. We reduced complete countries to ash and rubble with it. We loved the smell of dwarven ale in the morning. Okay, I'll get you some dwarven ale. Anything else? Yes, I need a cog. A 5 8 inch screw steel sprocket, straight beveled, hard chrome plated, BSA threaded flange with right hand thread and lock ring locking. It's not a standard size and I can't find one anywhere. Hmm. A 5 8 inch screw steel sprocket, straight beveled, hard chrome plated BSA threaded flange with right hand thread and locking lock ring. Sounds familiar. Come back when you've got the stuff. I'll sort out the rest. But bear in mind, the Dark Lord knows all of your thoughts. Right. Right. It's stuck. Poor thing. What? Shouldn't be a problem with the right tool. There you are. A 5 8 inch screw steel sprocket, straight beveled, hard chrome plated, BSA threaded flange with right hand thread and lock ring locking. Oh, maybe that cog wasn't all that important. Fly. Acorda, viu um chão se na gravana, não me chama. Não dá, mora. Tu te chama, já me dá de chat com a ficar uns embate. Colonel Grandad. Acorda, não me chama, se vão chamar. Yes, report back. Here's the cog, Grandad. I had to break my flying fish for that. War always involves sacrifice. Your flying fish was a hero, one of our best. We will honor his memory. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All we need now is the dwarven egg. Mm. Well then, uh, yes, but... Right. 
jest cały czas to samo, stary. I don't even know what to do with. Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Hey, I will burn. When the robot started in on you, I never thought you'd beat it. <laughs> it was an epic scrap, lad, an epic scrap. Epic. Morph against machine, nature against technology, mind over matter. Mind? How did you destroy it? I hit him as hard as I could with heavy objects until sparks started leaping out of him. Oh, a shrewd tactic. <laughs> Too right. But he did land a couple on me. Look what he did to my beard. Oh, uh, yes. I was so tanked up with ale and adrenaline I didn't even notice. Um, Mr. Master Brewer, assuming I were to need some dwarven ale... Dwarven ale? <laughs> it's not allowed, unfortunately. Why not? Have you heard about the explosion on Mount Winterpeak? The volcanic eruption? Ha ha ha! Volcanic eruption! Deep under that mountain was the finest ale brewery in the whole dwarven world. My dad took me there when I was nothing but two beer crates tall. Can you imagine how ailed up we were? Uh, kind of. What happened? Ah, well. Some so-and-so cocked up, and boom! <laughs> that was that! All over for dwarven ale brewing. After the accident, it was banned as a substance of enjoyment. The sharp taste, the warmth in the throat, gone forever. Now it's only no. used in warfare and in the alchemy industry. But you do know how to brew dwarven ale, don't you? There's a one-legged duck swim in a circle! Of course I know! I'm the master brewer! It's not difficult, either. First, you get barley germinated in a malt house, then let them bloat up after leaving them dormant for a bit. Then kiln dry the green malt, keeping it turned, of course smell it, making sure that the husks don't get destroyed. The husks? What are... Then mash the whole lot in a mash tun, obviously using the decoction procedure. After the iodine test, we get on with purifying and separating the malt from the beer wort in a slatted filter bed. Of course, but... In other words, we let the draft run through the mash pot. We then put the first wort in the brewing kettle, let it simmer and add the hops. We let the wort settle to remove the trub crust, add the yeast and then leave to ferment. Then we run everything through the pebble filter. That's all fair enough. Then it gets more complicated. Complicated. Stop. What? We're just getting to the exciting part. I'm sure we were, but I just abandoned the idea of brewing some dwarven ale myself. Well... Let's assume I need a small tankard of dwarven ale really, really urgently. Could you brew it for me? Uh, could do, uh, but I'm not going to. It's not allowed. Oh, come on, who's going to notice? When was the last time another dwarf came by to visit us? Mm, that's a fair time back. You <laughs> see, wouldn't you just love a nice cold dwarven ale tonight to celebrate your victory over the robot? Oh, dwarven ale is nectar. I'd certainly enjoy a wee taste of it again. No, that's not going to happen. And if I get them, would you... Aye, it's a deal. You find me the missing ingredients, and I'll brew some dwarven ale. Okay, what do you need? Crystal clear mountain water, hot. But that's, that, that's it? No, no deviled fire, salamander eyes, or dragon's breath, that sort of thing? Nope, water, hops, and malt. Uh, then there's just a few secret ingredients, and uh, naturally synthesized aromatic substances, and uh, a couple of E numbers, oh, but I've already got them here. Ew. Okay, water. I have a pot of crystal clear water. Show me. Hey, now what? Mm. 
you have any idea where I can get the hops? Oh, I'm sorry, but that thieving rat took the best part. I've not enough left. I've got to be careful. The rat, huh? Here's some barley from my mum's kitchen. Can it be used for brewing? Mm -hmm. It's not the best, but it'll have to do. I have to go. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. If the rat has stolen that many hops, it might still have something stored in there. There's something in there. Something round. Ugh. Hopefully it's not a giant rat dropping. It's a single hop. This is probably all that's left of the stock of hops. Hello, must oh, yeah. I've got some hops for the... <laughs> no, my lad. That's not enough. I need more hops. But I, I can't find any more. Oh, well, that's it as far as the dwarven ale's concerned. But you can plant the hops. You'll have it. A... I have... Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'll plant the hop. Let's nervous. see what happens. I really can't imagine. Wow. Good fertilizer, that. To is yellow, not to is red one. Wow. A huge hop plant with tons of corns. Yes. I've picked the. Gemma. Yo, yo, yo. Hello, must. Oh, yeah. I've got some hops for the ale. Is this enough? Ho, ho, that's enough. I hope you haven't been whipping stuff out of my stock. No. Well, only indirectly. And that means I've got all I need to brew the lovely dwarven ale. <laughs> Right, it's all. My Allah, no way, Allah, Allah, ship. Hey, laddie, just watch out that you don't get any of that in your eyes. It's dangerous stuff. I'll be very careful. Thanks very much, sir. Well, tell me, Wilbur, what do you need all that junk for? The dwarf and ale and all the other stuff that you've been dragging out of here the whole the evening. Is well, it's because of the ring. I need it. Grandad's helping me get the ring to the human town safe. Well, quickly. Oh, Wilbur, it's dangerous for a young gnome like yourself out there. I know, but I promised that gremlin, and I believe it really could be important. And I'd like to get out of here and achieve something. Taste some adventure, eh? Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think that the ring is all that important. Uh, not everybody's born for having adventures, my lad. But maybe you really do need to get out of here. Really? Aye, laddie. You still live with your parents. And you keep company with a very interesting, <laughs> intelligent old dwarf. <laughs> but that can't go on forever, can it now? So, if you do leave and go off on an adventure, even if it's just a sea stone, then maybe you'll come back and visit and tell me all about it there. Oh. Eh? I promise. Don't forget us. You're going to have to excuse me now. I've got an appointment. <laughs> Pas het zoopt. Ik moet nu van mijn zoel worden. En down we go. Zoepko. Um, excuse me, Colonel Grandad. <laughs> Report back. 
Here's the dwarven ale, Grandad. Oh, my goodness, we must be careful with this. Now I have everything I need. It won't take long now. Prepare yourself for takeoff. Take off? What, what, what do you mean by take off? <laughs> That's what you meant by take off. Absolutely. I've aimed her at the town of the humans. Betsy 2 was, of course, designed to shoot grenades. But I'm confident that she'll get your capsule there, too. <laughs> confident? Get me out of here. Please, Grandad. Listen, my boy. I'm proud of you. You're doing something very brave. Sure, Wilbur. I'd like you to have these. Your old aviator goggles. Oh, Grandad, I, I didn't think... Too slow, my boy! Was. Fire! Good luck! <laughs> to the ground. Jezicko, błagam. Patrz. He still hasn't told us, mother. He will. Who else knows about it? The Archmage won't know about it yet. We were able to intercept the servant, as you know. But... But? An elf, mother. She tried to free MacGuffin. She might know something. She needs to be watched. Very well. And now, Mr. Professor, let us have a little chat. Oh. oh well, no problem. I am an elf, and I'm fit. What now? I'll get the book out of MacGuffin's secret cellar and take it to the Archmage. No, they were all gone when I got there. They collected the cage and were off. No. Now it's up to us to get the book. Of course I don't have to, but... Well, what else am I going to do? It appears to be very important. And even if it isn't important, those shady fellows want to have that book. It's better that we get it out of the cellar before they get their grubby mitts on it. Then don't help me. Why don't you just fly home? Just don't tell my parents anything. Ungrateful feathered fowl. I was pushing on you. Ok, więc to było na tyle w tym odcinku, więc skończymy to, więc to było na tyle w tym odcinku. Myślę, że Wam się podobało, zapraszam Was do innych serii. Mówił dla Was Max i cześć!